Hello friends, this is Ted, and welcome back to the Ted Adebray Experiment. And I'm back at the fair again, just showing you a bunch of rides before anybody like gets on them and stuff. Like this is the opening night of the fair, and so everybody's going to be out here riding, but this is a little early of course, so we're just kind of showing you some of the cool rides I got here. Here's one called the Alter Ego. It's got some cool art on it. That's one thing about these rides. They got pretty cool art on them. But uh, pretty neat. There's the ticket booths, of course. Here's kind of the bungee jump thing over here. Pretty cool. My kid likes that one. Here's one called the Silver Streak. Which you'll see they're still setting them up. The cars are kind of stuck in there right now. They haven't got it all set up. You can kind of see how they got it in there of course here's the ticket booths as you can see they've got the cars some of the cars sitting over there on the thing over there they haven't all hooked them up here yet so this is kind of cool there's of course my favorite candy apple thing pretty neat ah my little boy would love this and monster truck a big school bus thing so I guess you can flop around in a school bus. My school bus driver used to get in a wreck a lot. She might be pretty good at uh, uh, driving that one. Here's a big Aladdin looking uh, ride. Let's see what else we got down through here. I figured I'd give you a little tour of the uh, fair down here, the rides and stuff. It looks like, it looks like the pony ride, I guess. You can get in there. You can be a cowboy. Here's uh, another good stand with some food. Here's a cool one where they uh, make the shirts and draw the drawings on there and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. So you can get you a nice Spider-Man picture there. Pretty neat. Here's some more uh, food places. Place to meal down and eat your food. And over here you can hit a can, knock a can over, win a prize. On this and win a big old monkey prize looks like, a big bear. I've won a couple of those for my wife. I usually do the uh, the ones where you do the darts. I'm usually pretty good at them. Here's one of those dart games too. I won her a big Care Bear one time. Cost me a pretty good amount though, but I've got it. But I'm usually pretty good with darts, so it wasn't as bad as some people might have got. Here's some cool prizes. Just walking around showing you the fair. There's one of our workers walking around with or driving around on the old uh, four-wheeler thing. I kind of come over here and get out of this uh, guy on the bobcat there, what do you want to call it? Here's a big old uh, one called the fireball. Pretty huge looking thing. That's crazy though, getting all those rides like that. And they set those up like in, in a matter of like an hour or two. <laughs> And it's like they just ship them from place to place. It's like, and people ride those. Here's a train station one. Kind of cool. Let's keep walking here. We'll show you a few more kind of cool rides I got at the old fair here. Yeah, like I said, I just figured I'd figured y'all'd have fun kind of seeing a good uh, guided tour of the fair. There's a bull riding thing. My little boy would love that, but I don't think he's old enough to ride. Five, five dollars a ride, good gosh. There's that wild bull. There's some more, uh, you can get you, uh, get you a Patriots hat there and Broncos. Uh, they got the Golden State Warriors. There's a bunch of games over here. There's the monkey maze. Kind of cool. My son likes those pretty good. Go in there and there's all kinds of different things to do and stuff. Here's a gigantic thing, the Nemesis 360. I don't know what that is. I want to. I might have to get a video of some of these things working. There's the old monkey maze. That's some good, cool. That's some cool artwork on that one. Here's the surge. I thought that was a drink, the old Surge. Here's a big, kind of like a Ferris wheel or something, the uh, Rolla Rocco Plane, Rocco Plane, something, I don't know. It's hard to read, it's like spinning around. Over here's another wheel, the uh, 
high energy so we can kind of see as they're setting some of these up it's kind of cool and here's a big old uh, I guess Ferris wheel this is a pretty huge one right here this is probably the biggest ride they have over here for height I guess there's you know it's just a regular fair whoa as I about kill myself there's the uh, Nemesis 360 guess you're going way up I don't know what it does oh there it is right there you get on them and it kind of pulls you up in there and either drops you down or you uh, expand outward and spin I'm not really for sure on that one I've never seen that one done before as we keep walking here there's the uh, surf shack here's one over here the gamma 7 anti-gravity device that one's pretty I remember when I was a little kid somebody was in that one it was spinning so hard like somebody puked and the puke kind of stayed up in the air and <laughs> it was pretty weird it was crazy here's actually look at this this is cool it's a basketball game but you can see here it's just like the trailer is like opened up or whatever like I guess it would close down this one and it shuts it in and deploy into that's how they move them back and forth I guess kind of cool and of course it's got a cool looking gremlin uh, gremlin prize you can win there but that's kind of cool I guess it will fold down right here to close and you go like that to open it up so that's kind of how they move them from place to place that's probably how a lot of them are we'll kind of walk over here as you can look there's another something going in over here I couldn't tell you what it is you can see the trailers are kind of bringing them in and that's usually what they do I guess they bring them in on these big rigs or whatever and take them from one fair to the other so that's kind of cool you don't see that that much them actually bringing them in that's why I kind of got here before everything got going so you can kind of see what uh, what they do a little bit you know I don't I ain't trying to say I know everything about it but you know you can kind of see how they kind of do a little bit of the stuff it's kind of interesting kind of cool here's some more uh, games to win prizes here's that surfs up and it's got a pretty cool uh, rock lobster there it's got some cool artwork on it I like that there's an eyeball up there surfing for some reason I guess eyeballs like to surf here's a goldfish thing you get those uh, goldfish and they die about after two days after you get them or something like that hang ten wipe out some cool uh, does have some cool artwork on it and this guy's like buried underneath there it's a uh, Duncan Design Incorporated that made this I guess as you can see on this little I don't know what that I guess that's the company there got it kind of printed on there it's pretty cool Here's the rock wall looking thing. Pretty high up. Here's the goldfish thing. And here's one of my, my son's favorite rides. I guess you could call it a ride. It's actually a slide. He really likes this one. You get on the little bag there and you get up there at the top, slide all the way down to fun slide. He wants me to, that was one I used to like because it's just simple, you know, you're just sliding down. They always like that one, and I do too. There's the hurricane, and that's one of those canes where you know it keeps you from falling. It always no, it's just, it's actually a ride that you ride on. <laughs> Little infomercial uh, joke there, but uh, if you watch a lot of late night TV like I sometimes do. You know the hurricane. There you go. And uh, here's some cool prizes. Got some Pokemon. Oh, that's kind of cool. Some big old Pokey. I have no idea. There's the ball that you throw to get the Pokemon out or whatever, but that's about all I know about them. Here's some icy things. Here's some workers constructing this one. Kind of cool watching them put the poles in and stuff. As you can see, it's not. This is probably the uh, the Himalaya, maybe. I think that's what this one probably is. The, I remember, I remember the they had the Himalaya a lot, and that's what it looks like that one is. But I'm not for sure. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, keep up the good work, guys. Yeah, golly, Ooh, that's, that might be taller than the other one. That's way up there, man. They're kind of constructing it. Kind of cool. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Woo, that sucker's way up there. 
It's kind of a Marvel Avengers looking thing. This might be pretty cool. It's got a slide on. My boy might start liking this one. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, and you can kind of see here how the uh, thing expands out. It's like a wagon and these things right here expand out so you could probably just clamp them up and close them and they lock in there and it looks like a truck bed as you can kind of see up underneath here. See these right, right here are probably, I ain't gonna touch it because I'm not gonna try to mess it up. But this right here would probably just fold down and that side fold down and then you got your solid truck. You lock it down and you got it. So that's kind of cool seeing how a lot of this stuff works. Here is some kind of dragon looking thing. This one looks pretty cool. This is for the younger kids. Probably don't go, really, probably don't go that fast. And they're still putting together those two, uh, those two big rides. I mean, I don't know. I'd like to ask somebody how long it takes to put one of these together, but I ain't that adventurous, I guess you could say. <laughs> but uh, they're over there doing a good job. As I walk through, well, I'm not going to go through. I'm not trying to mess anything up, so I'm trying to stay away from everybody because they're doing their, you know, they're doing their job here. I don't want to mess their job up. I'm just trying to walk around and kind of film a little bit. And as you can see here, here, this is pretty much just a truck, just a trailer. And see how they got the front on the trailer right here, and it just opens up and closes, so we can, you know, you just close this down. It might fold a little bit or whatever. And then you just take off on it when you're done. And of course, this is a trailer right here. So it's kind of cool just to see how they uh, fix all this cool stuff. Because they get this stuff together. Because when I was filming on uh, Saturday, and when I looked a little bit on Sunday, there was nothing here. I think they uh, pretty much shut down in another county where I live on Saturday night. And they probably got it here Sunday and they've been constructing it ever since sunday and it's just monday today this is monday in the afternoon so they've been at it about a probably about a day and a day and a half or something like that here's a cool looking boat ride my little boy will like this because they look like caterpillar uh, front loaders so he kind of likes those he's rode on one of them before this one was like a front loader one of my friends had one and he was letting him ride around on it and of course, here's the, uh, I guess the, what are these called? The merry-go-arounds, I can't even think. And got some cool horses and stuff, so he'll like that. Here's some more prize things you can win. Guess you're fishing duck out of a thing, I'm not really for sure. There's a, there's a cool gremlins. I wouldn't mind actually having that one, that's pretty nice. Nice little gremlin there. Got some other cool, there's a, a Frankenstein from that one uh, motel Transylvania I think oh that's what all those are that's cool this one's cool with Dracula in his underwear <laughs> I don't know <laughs> he's got some little bitty short he's got some short shorts on Dracula with short shorts here's the teacups at least they don't have the dreaded dragon ride out here there was one that was a dragon here's the bumper cars and my boy my boy used to love the dragon thing and it was closed off at the top and you didn't have that much air in there and that thing would make me as sick as a dog every time i'd ride it i'd almost have to throw up every time i ride it it barely did do anything it would just barely spin but it's like you couldn't get any air in there and i'm a little bit claustrophobic anyway so that and then there's not much air in there and it's hot and i was shoo it's making me sick but see, they, it was sort of like this kind of ride, but these right here are like, they got a, you know, they're not, you're not closed in on these, you can breathe a little bit. But that dragon ride, ugh. And that was for little kids, and I don't even want to ride it. And I guess that's my tour of the, uh, of this uh, Warren, uh, this Warren County uh, Fairgrounds here, and their, uh, I guess their midway part, I guess that's what this is called, where they got all their rides and stuff. Just kind of showing it off. Uh, hope you like that. Hope you like this video. I'm kind of going out. As you can see, we're back to the uh, the the altered ego here. Kind of just showing it off. This ride takes six tickets or a wristband plus two tickets. So, and I think tickets are like a dollar a piece. So they make some money on this junk. I mean, it's. <laughs> It's crazy just thinking how much the tickets cost and you gotta use maybe five or six tickets for each ride, unless it's a little ride. 
the best trick is to get it on the days or some days where you pay twenty dollars and you get a whole wristband and the wristband i think you can get into most stuff for free you know you just get in there because you bought that wristband so that's the best thing to do is get a wristband and I guess we've had a mud bog out here it's been rainy real bad where we're at and there is mud everywhere we were coming in and parking it it was there was just mud everywhere and i finally got my tire fixed and i go to the co-op where my wife's uh, dad works to get it put on or whatever and there was uh it was raining so bad and he does the at the co-op he does the uh fertilizer and some of the fertilizer had seeped out and it just looked like sand on the ground so I, I go to step in it and I sunk in it like a quicksand where, all, where it's been raining real bad and that fertilizer didn't have no weight to it so I just sunk in it like I was sitting in quicksand so that'll be it for my video I hope you enjoyed my video if you did please uh, subscribe and uh, please share with other people I just figured I'd kind of give y'all a tour of this cool fairgrounds kind of thought it was cool take you have you go back and kind of see how they do it a little bit i mean we didn't get a lot of stuff as you can see the one thing's spinning a little bit but uh we kind of seen a little bit of how it goes together i, I didn't really want to bother people and ask them but they've got a job to do and i'm going to let them do their job but uh until next time have a good one and i uh, hope you like this video and uh thank you and uh until next video see ya